praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah, hallelujah unto His holy name. Greetings, family, Yah Royals. Family, could this be a full circle of our people? Family, this uh, is breaking news about 11 Moors were arrested. It was actually a standoff, according to what the news people are saying. But um, what I want to do is share a little bit in this video. I wish I could do it on stream yard because I could present more on a wider stream, but it buffs with the different videos at times. But family, could this be a full circle of our people according to, you know, truth being manifest? Because, of course, as slaves being brought over on the ship and different aspects are different links that we link back to according to whatever pathway, you know, the most I could be leading us to, to understand. So one may call themselves Moors. One may call themselves Kemet. One may call themselves Israelites. One may call themselves, you know, uh, Bantus. But in actuality, according to the world's view, we all the same people. And they are saying it doesn't matter. We just blacks, which links back to Moors or Kemet, are just on the African continent in itself. So the 11 that uh, were arrested, according to what they say, um, I have actually a YouTube page and I'll share that in a bit. But just to give you a little bit of background, just uh, hold tight for a second. Okay, family. So as you see, 11 people charged after standoff in Wakefield on I-95. Okay. So when you play this video, they don't really want to show the face of these people. But we know more is mean and what it represent and what it stands for in so many ways you understand and they literally seen them handcuffing what appears to be a european in the back seat of a car which this scene which uh you see here this scene was actually not where where i'll show you this brother is speaking about what they considered to be a standoff, but really what they were doing was in transit going through, you know, that city of Massachusetts and they pulled on side the road to actually gas up another vehicle and they were stopped. Uh, now I'm sorry, back up. That's the key word is stopped. They weren't stopped. They were already stopped. So, to me, it sounds suspect because it sounds like it's a great chance they probably were, what, followed. They probably have seen all what they've put out on social media and so forth, which isn't where, you know, they were doing anything that one may say. Oh, they are, you know, trying to form a militia or they are trying to come up against you know, America. No, they was just moving and flowing in their rights. And you'll hear more about that when it comes to the Moroccan law, as you see here. It was a peace treaty, or I'm sorry, a treaty that was signed all the way back in, uh, I want to say 17 77. So what's ironic about this family, it will line up with July, <laughs> the third, the fourth. It happened on what? I want to say the second 
of the 3rd of July, early morning. And this is a full circle. Because we're right here, right now, doing July. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, when I heard this earlier, I was like, what? You know, this is a full circle. So I must say, family, I don't know a whole, whole lot. So I'll share as much as I, you know, can and what I feel led to share. But praises to the Most High Yah. See, we would instantly say, now nah, their mores are, their Kemet are, they, you know, this, that. No, family, we are one people that, you know, so many different, which, you know, aspects of us linking back our understanding. Because however the Most High have given us leadway to lead us in whatever path, that don't mean that we're not the same people. You understand? Our people were scattered to the four corners of the earth. In this awakening, of course, uh, we have been, you know, awakened in different ways and different formats and understanding different things. But to the Europeans or, you know, any other, you know, races, they see us as, oh, we just black people. They see us as what they would consider the Moors or the um, Swathi people or, um, you know, the melanated people. You understand, you know, they have many, many names, Negroes, you know, niggas and stuff. That's what they see us as because all of that, what I just say, link back to the melanated skin, dark melanated skin. That's all it is. It links back to the dark melanated skin. But they, you know, in cases say, no, the Moors, they were, you know, um, Arabians and mixed with Europeans and so forth and that family, they keep failing to realize that, you know, according to even science that they have studied and they have brought to the forefront, because that's what they consider science by, you know, trying to get to the root cause by tapping into, um, facts. So they say, and bringing it to the forth to understand. And it. It's, it's, it's actually shows that dark melanated skin have been here way before any other recessive genes. That's just period. But they keep forgetting that they keep making it like they've been here way before us. <laughs> but this is a full circle that happened to be in July <laughs> that which was going back to July of like 1776, 1777. And this something. My, my, my. Oh, my. Okay, family. Okay, so as you see right here, the Moroccan-American Treaty it wasn't American-Moroccan Treaty. Okay, so you would say, why is this? Because what you, you know, will hear also is that they link them back to America. So when I said link back to America, because there were dark melanated skin people here before, way before they said Christopher Columbus came when he came, supposedly he said there were what, what you would call coals, mean black holes were all over the islands. That was a code word to say black melanated people. So it says in 18, I'm sorry, in December of 1777, the Moroccan Sultan Mohammed III included the United States in the list of countries to which Morocco's ports were open. Morocco thus became the first country whose head of state publicly recognized the newly independent United States. Is that all to it? No, I think I believe and understand is much more deeper than that. Okay, so this right here where all was the location where it was signed in Morocco. Okay. And look at the timeline. June 28th of 1786. It says July 15th of 1786. So this is what, the, you know, they're saying far as it being ratified, right? So let's just go in a little closer here. So 
So I've read that. But this is really um, amazing to me for it to be as in a full circle. Okay. So speaking of the negotiation by Tom Barclay, okay, um, and uh, in signing of the American dip diplomats in Europe, and then name those names. So um, a lot what I came to understand is that there is a legal document. I can't recall which one of it. It could be the Article of Confederation, it could be the Bill of Rights, it could be the Constitution. It could be um, one of those official documents that has, I want to say something along the way that's surrounding the Moroccans or, you know, um, the Moors, okay, that that there's actually have placed forth that they're the, uh, um, they're actually the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, um, they're the originals the aboriginals of the land, okay, and of America. So that's what my understanding, the connection of this whole treaty is. But what you see reading here, it has all to do with oh, opening up a port so they could actually, you know, buy, sell, and so forth. And that's not what I'm, you know, have understood. I don't know all the great deals about it, but let's look at this a little closer, okay. So I'm going to start about right here. It says prior in this region, Morocco had experienced 30 years of inter battles. Okay. Instability and turmoil. So this is what they're saying. During the 33 years of Sidi Muhammad ruled, he transformed the politics, the economy and society, putting development of international trade high on the agenda and restoring power. Okay, so this is all what they are saying. It said this served to quickly bring respect to Morocco on the international scene. So for those who are not familiar with Morocco on the map, it's at the very, um, you could say the bottom of Africa, because really the map is flipped, but let's stick with what we know is actually at the top um, of, you know, above what you would call... Um, let me get that for you so you can see that. So as you see here, Morocco is right there above Algeria. And, um, you know, just want to give you that view of where it will be. I'm sorry, where it is. Okay. So, so right here, it says here that the treaty signed by Barclay and the Sultan then by Jefferson and Adam was ratified by the Confederation Congress in July of 1787. It was reaffirmed by the Sultan in 1803, okay, with the USS Constitution. Hmm. says U.S. was declared as a servant, sovereign, sorry, nation by Morocco. So you pause there, you say, okay, they declare. Who has the authority to declare someone sovereign? But of course they went to say, well, this was in the trade treaty made between Morocco and other nations in December of 1777. But there are more and more Sovereign. So when you look up 
even, you know, with them saying, oh, it's, um, has all to do with, they declared them okay to, um, actually have an agreement with the, have their goods, um, received on their ports are their ports to allow ships or boats to, you know, travel forth. Sovereignty is a political concept that refers to a dominant power or supreme authority. So for them to use that word and say, oh, they were declared by these people as far as Moroccans, but um, it was through treaty. And it was the first ones that actually declared this according to these people and others. So that's very, you know, suspect there. So um, what I want to do now is take you to a video to show you uh, the actual, um, what they call considered the arrest. But you will see that uh, they don't really want to show them their faces. Well, in two situations. And then they don't want to... Um, they, you know, which I've actually read that they're like, the Moors is not black or, you know, Negro, uh, Negroes. They're uh, Arabians um, with, you know, the light color skin and so forth and that. But that's what you might see there today. But that wasn't always there. All right, so as this load up, it says 11 people charged after the standoff in Wakefield. Okay, so this is the video I'm seeing. Um, well, speaking about earlier, but family, the location where the brother was uh, actually filming from, this, this doesn't even look like it. So um, this apparently another whole video of what I can see that they're using um, at this moment. So check it out. But only after I-95 was shut down in both directions while So as you see those uh, Some of the suspects scattered into the woods Now in custody all, all Calling itself Rise of the Moors Good evening to you I'm Ken McLeod at the beginning When a state trooper spotted them on the roadside in Whitfield In the middle of the night wearing tactical military gear and saying they were on their way to Maine for a weekend of training. We have team coverage on the standoff and the group behind it, WBZ's Lisa Gresh. Eleven armed individuals standing uh, with long guns slung on an interstate highway uh, at two in the morning certainly raises concerns and uh, is not consistent with the firearms laws that we have here in Massachusetts. This early morning encounter, now a reminder of the kind of situations that troopers may face in the middle of the night on the highway. We've all heard about the trooper coming to the aid of these disabled vehicles being substantially outnumbered by armed individuals. Police say when the trooper vehicles, he saw the 11 men were armed. Clad in uh, what I describe as tactical or mili military style uniforms. And Individuals for IDs and gun licenses they didn't have. They never show them, uh, and in which appeared to me to be a white man. They were traveling from Rhode Island to so it's like they react uh, this whole thing. Training. But what you'll see where the they uh, the were actually at, the like they were in an interstate, but this looks like a, like a division. And that right there looks like a, um, you know, interstate, or, but they would say getting off. But many looking out the window only to see SWAT teams taking over their yards. We saw them arresting a guy in front of the light department. That looked like a white man hand. Man Look at that is a white man, man hand. The Wakefield Lake. So the who are they who are they talking about? Doing their job, so they I, I they just trying to muddy the water family. The others eventually surrendering to police peacefully. And see you can't see they look like a white man on his uh that they got there as well. It's uh, definitely crazy. And they didn't even have a current to what I see military gear. This is a reminder so this is foolishness right here. So I'm going to stop that. Okay. Um, I'll share uh, about the brother who's speaking shortly. Okay, Family, this is the video of um, 
appeared to be the one that actually wing a body cam and they're what the news media got now is everywhere speaking about um they had a standoff with these brothers right here and um what is also profound is that the name of their page Canaan Land Morris okay I'm telling you family this appeared to be a full circle happened to be which that uh what they call a treaty was signed back in 70 1776 1777 and ratify in 1789 but back going back in July which this like July the 3rd the 4th why they celebrating their independence so what CNN had said and I didn't pick up on it cuz I didn't know about it is that you know, it was more like a tactic, like this all happened on the timeline of the year of, of course, the month, July the 4th, July the 3rd, July the 4th, in the same weekend of supposedly, they supposed to be America celebrating independence. But these brothers said they were headed, you know, to an area, which a private land where they were going to do different um, trainings. And they were going to camp out. So could it be that the most high aligned all this, which, you know, what I'm saying is I would just want y'all to, to, you know, understand that this is not by chance, whether, you know, they came up with the idea and they did this as, as a tactic, they did it according to what the most high allowed you understand. But this is very, 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 very interesting. Wow. So let's hear what this brother says. Now, take a look and see where the uh, location at of where, you know, he's speaking. And when I showed you the previous video about them arresting, um, supposedly them in that area where it was two white men that they actually arrested or they acting out something. That's not those brothers. Okay. So they want the world to believe that the Moors, are Moroccans are, are black. I mean, I'm sorry, are white Arabian looking, but the truth be told as it appears, cause I heard about it that on a legal document, and I can't remember if it's a declaration of independence that Moroccan are the Moors is on there because they need a sovereignty from, you know, them as far as the United States, America to be even come who, this area, this country is, or this corporation is today. So I, I haven't found that and anybody have that. You're welcome to share it, but I'm just in this right now, family. I don't know all and ends of it, but it's very, uh, it's very profound. That's, that's wow. Okay. Here we go. We are, uh, on interstate 95, Massachusetts near, uh, exit. 57 mile marker 57.4 uh they specified in the news that we're anti-government but we're not we're not anti-government we're not anti-police we're not sovereign citizens we're not black identity extremists uh as specified multiple times to the police that uh we're abiding by the peaceful journey laws of the united states uh federal courts so just look up uh title 18 of the united states code subsection 926 alpha or 925 alpha if i'm not mistaken as well as the decision of the United States Supreme Court, Young versus Harris, which specifies that merely carrying an arm, or it says, uh, you know, being in the possession of a of a gun per se constitutes no offense. So we haven't violated any any laws. Uh, the police seen us on the side of the road with our guns secured. Uh, we were afraid, so we got out with our arms. And uh, I have a body camera that's been recording the whole time. Uh, Excuse me. Reassure, uh, reassured them multiple times that we're abiding by the federal laws as well as the ju judicial opinions of uh, the United States Supreme Court and things like that. Uh, but they keep portraying us as, as uh, being anti-government, but, but we're not anti-government at all. Uh, so please share this video out. Again, this is, uh, we're near Wakefield, Massachusetts, uh, going north on I-95 near exit 57. So yeah, that's basically it.
So family, as you heard that, um, I've said earlier in the video, please do not look at this as we are separate. You know, even though one may say, okay, due to the slave trade, due to all that has happened, that they actually, you know, gain in power and gain power over the earth. Please understand that we are, you know, different, you know, far as aspects of what we understand, who we are and what, how the most high, I believe is leading us to understand. And then at, you know, whatever time we'll be brought together in a sense of understanding even more, but, um, don't be like, Oh, say pointing fingers at these brothers. Cause these people now have actually, um, brought their narrative in. They've been had their narrative in. They don't want the world to know that, you know, Hey, look, people, we only been here for a short period of time. These people been here. We came in and took over only because they might not want to admit it because the most high allowed them to. There's no way in the world they could have put their hands on us or did all the things that they have done to us and still doing and so in so many degrees and only unless the most high allow it. So this is linked to a legal documentation way back in 7076. Everything that I'm finding that with the most high and how he operates is always a legal document to show and to link back to, okay? So this is part of it, family. But it happens to be a full circle happening the weekend of, uh, uh, you know, a celebration of supposedly Americans' independence, but from who? From Great Britain? Or they were given the right by the Moroccans, which is bigger than that. That links throughout the whole continent of Africa, not just Morocco. You understand? But we're going to find our family because, you know, as it is written, the truth will prevail. Let's continue to hear what this brother have to say. He has some more, I believe.